Hi there. There's been a couple of queries recently regarding uh, some videos I've done of late that make use of linked markets. Now there is actually a dedicated video that I did some time ago on linked markets and I'll uh, put a card at the end of this video so you can access that and look at that at your leisure. But I wanted to address a couple of the queries and clarify some of the questions that have been raised. First thing with regard to the strategy editor. You cannot access the strategy editor if you don't have a market open. It's not until you open a market that you can get to the strategy editor either via the tools menu or by this button here on the automation tab. And once you've opened up the strategy editor, you can then go in and create your strategy. Now, the reason for that so the strategy editor relies or needs a market to be open is because some of the settings are market specific. So as you see here, I'm looking at a horse racing uh, event. Some of the things that I'll be able to do when setting up a strategy won't have any of the football related stuff. I won't be able to access that. Now, when you create a strategy, and I'll just go in, I won't bother filling in all this stuff for the purposes of this video. In the action tab and in the conditions tab, you can make use of something called linked markets. It's important to note that when you are creating a strategy, you should have the corresponding market open. That's not necessarily true for everything. What I mean by that is that if you're just creating a general strategy, for example, let's imagine that I am going to um, just place a bet on the favorite. So I might do something like that. And I was to save this as is. Very, very basic strategy. I can now apply this to any market, irrespective of the sport. Because all it's going to do is place a bet on the favourite within the strategy to which I've assigned. Or sorry, within the market to which I've assigned the strategy. And that can be done because of the fact that this is the standard setting, default. So anything I specify in here, or anything I specify within a, a condition, let's just say for example a selection fixed odds, you'll see there's a choose market section. and Whenever you create a new rule, it says default there. So that means that whatever I'm doing here or whatever I'm doing here will be applied to the market to which I have assigned the strategy. So you can create a generic rule, for example, green up all or this example here, betting on the favorite, which can be applied to any market once your strategy is finished, even though I've essentially had a horse race open. But once you start drilling down and get more specific, um, some of the settings are dependent on the market you have open. For example, to create a linked market, you would choose other, and then click on this drop down arrow here, and this gives you the other events that are available for this, sorry, the other markets that are available for this event. So, for example, I can choose place there, and this action now, even if I assign this strategy to the win market on the horse race, it will place this bet and back the favorite in the place market. So that's a linked market. Now, it's important to recognize that that linked market is the market can, uh, pertaining to this event. You can't have that linking to another event, even another horse race. Now the important thing to note with this is, with the default, whatever you do here is carried out on the market to which you've assigned the strategy. Whereas if you set this option here, it will be carried out on this linked market. So even if I assign this strategy to the place market, 
for which I could use the fault by specifying other and specifying place here, it will still go in and place this bet on the place market because I've specifically told it to. Also notice that uh, with this option here, if I choose uh, by name and choose selection, so this is where we choose the actual selection to which we want the bet to be placed, you'll see that I have the current runners for this market. Now clearly in the case of a horse race, this list is going to change from race to race to race. Now compare that with a football match, keeping in mind the idea of linked markets. I have no football related things in here. So if I uh, just come out of that, close the strategy at a time and switch to this market, uh, which is match odds at uh, this match here. Don't ask me to pronounce those football names. Open up the strategy editor again. And you'll see now, if I go and place a bet, again, it comes up by default, first of all. But if I specify other, I now have all the markets related to this event. So if I wish to back the favorite in this event here, I can obviously choose default. But when doing so, I need to make sure I assign this strategy directly to this market specifically. Whereas I could, let's just choose match odds. Where are you? Just choose match odds. So now I'm saying, right, I want you to place this bet in the match odds market. So this strategy can be assigned to any of these underlying markets linked to this event. Keep in mind it has to be this event. You cannot have one football match and specify sticking a bet or checking a condition in a completely different football match because the two are unrelated. But you can link markets, related markets within the same event. So by specifically saying match odds, doesn't matter which one of these markets I assign this strategy to, this will always place a bet on the first row as I've specified here in this market, the match odds market for this match. Now, remember the horse race, if I go by name, we've only got those three. So if you choose by name for the match odds market, um, there'll be an issue there because when you assign this strategy to a different football match, you will end up having a problem because those teams aren't playing. Whereas, for example, if I chose the, uh, let's say one of the over-unders, You've got under 2.5 goals and over 2.5 goals. And in those markets and those types of markets, those selections are always the same. And they're always in the same order. So if I was to choose over 2.5 goals, that's exactly the same as doing Betfair row number two. So it's really up to yourself which way you, you go about it. Um, sometimes, I, especially in the over-unders, I actually prefer doing it by name and specifically setting it there. Um, that's just personal preference, but you don't need to do that. Now, those things that I've done there also apply to any conditions that you have. So, for example, um, selection fixed odds, choose the market. If that's set to default, it will only apply to the market to which this strategy is assigned. If you want to specifically look at another market, make sure you have others selected, choose the market concerned. So I want to say, let's just check the odds on the over under 1.5. And obviously, if I choose better for a row number one, that will be the unders. But I can actually specifically say it by selecting it from the list. And I can go and do other checks as well. For example, let's just check the fixed odds of one of the other selections. Uh, any mini mini mo let's just choose that one just for fun and we can go in there and check the unders okay 
So that's linked markets in a nutshell. Now, when you have a linked market like this, and let's say I assign this to the match odds market, I assign the strategy to the match odds market. When that match gets underway and those markets start to be monitored by Fairbot, Fairbot will automatically open up these other markets because it needs to look at those markets to find out what's happening. So in this particular example, it will open up the under 1.5 goals market. It will open up, or sorry, more specifically the over under 1.5 goals market. It will open up the over unders 6.5 goals market. It will also open the over under 2.5 goals market. The important point being is this strategy can now be assigned to any one of these related events. Okay, and that's what's meant by linked markets. So the important thing, if you're setting these up, you'll have, a, you'll have an understanding of what you're trying to do. But generally speaking, open up the type of event to which you're creating a strategy. So if it's a football match, open up any of the markets for the football match. And that way you'll get access to all the potential linked markets and all the selections within each of those linked markets. Okay. And that's it. Hopefully that's clarified things. As I say, have a look at the uh, original linked market uh, video I did, although I think if memory serves me correctly, it's a while since I've looked at it. It specifically talks about uh, horse racing. But the principles are the same irrespective of the sports event that you're looking at. The important thing to do is Open up a market to which you're creating a strategy first, then open the strategy editor, and then you can make loose use of the linked markets pertaining to that. Also, keep in mind that if you're using linked markets, um, you want to use it on the uh, action tab, but also make sure you do the same thing on any conditions. Otherwise, the conditions that you create will actually only be acting on the market to which you have assigned the strategy, which may not necessarily be what you're trying to do. Okay, uh, I think uh, that uh, should be enough for today. Uh, uh, hopefully that's clarified matters. As I say, by all means, go and have a look at the original uh, video that I did uh, some time back. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.